Hi. Now, for this last part here, we're told that the complex number w then equals 17 thirteenths minus 7 thirteenths i and asked to find the arg of w, giving you answer in radians to three decimal places for two marks. So, if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment then to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Now, to do this kind of problem, I always go for a sketch. I think it's important to draw a sketch. And so, we'll have our real axis here, and our imaginary axis here. And then, if we were to draw this complex number on, then it's going to be something that looks like this. 17 thirteenths that way and minus 7 thirteenths, that's in downwards, okay? So, complex number like that. This complex number is W, and if I draw some dotted lines in to show the real part and the imaginary part, I'm just looking at the magnitude of these lengths. This length here is 17 thirteenths, and this length down here is 7 thirteenths. And this angle in here, let's just say we call it theta. When it comes to working out the arg, though, of w, the arg of w is always an angle between minus pi radians and pi radians. So that means that I've got to turn in this sense here, okay, the clockwise sense. This angle in here will be the arg of w. It's going to be a negative angle. OK, so I'll just put that in there, that that's the arg of W. So I'd always work out the acute angle, first of all, theta. So we do that by taking the tan of theta. The tan of theta would equal 7 thirteenths over 17 thirteenths. It doesn't really matter about the thirteens, they're going to cancel out anyway. So I'm just going to say theta equals the inverse tan then of 7 over 17. It's only a ratio, so those 13s, as I say, are going to cancel out. And if you work this out on your calculator, you find you get 0 0.3906. Remember, keep it in radians mode, OK? So that's in radians. And therefore, when it comes to the arg of the complex number w, then it's going to be minus 0 0.3906 and so on, which given to three decimal places is going to be minus 0 0.391 radians. Okay, put rads there and we'll put 3dp. Okay.